Hey YouTube, today's vlog, vlog number four, is talking about the 17 snakes in that rack. But first, flip you around here, the reason for the vlog. So, I told Patrick a little bit of everything Saunders and Bo Muckley that I would do a multi-snake vlog video. So this is going to be my little shout out section of the video. Uh, Rachel Lynn was the only one to comment a name for the new Super Pastel Pied Boy that we received two videos ago in that unboxing video. I believe that was vlog number two. So that snake is now Key Lime. So this is kind of my board, how I keep track of everything. I got my females up here left. Got the males down here. You got Minion and Key Lime, the two newest additions. And then just kind of showing you some of my other notes that I help keep myself track and all that fun stuff. 2023 kind of goals. So YouTube and Instagram are my social media outlets. Basically, I was trying to shoot for about 100 subscribers for YouTube, 300 on Instagram. Didn't really think I'd have that many people that interested that quick. Currently, YouTube's bouncing around 50, and Instagram's bouncing around 99. I do post a bit more on the Instagram, just because it's easy to take a picture, take a video, upload it. And it's not that I do a shit ton of editing or anything like that with YouTube anyway, but that is it. Uh, some of the snake morphs I'm looking into getting, hopefully this year, but we'll see. I really like the blackheads. You can't go wrong with a piebald. Het sunsets to raise up, because... Well, being a Joe Schmo working nine to five, you can't really outright buy a sunset unless you got some uh, money set aside for snake purchases. I think on average they're going for about four to five grand a pop. I like the VPI Exanthix. I like the Soul Suckers, the Mystic Potions, that sort of thing. Um, breeding size females, I'm looking to have five by the end of the year and two males at the end of the year. Um, update is basically my note for this room. Basically, I was starting to paint the walls. I want to put in hardwood flooring and I got to fix the ceiling. There was a water leak and we made a mess. But, yeah. Anyway, so some of the YouTube ideas I have here. I got some over there on that board as well. Um, but just kind of some of the stuff I'm getting at. But let's get to the snakes. So these 17 snakes... Uh, easiest way to kind of see them is red labels are females, blue labels are males. I got only one in that top row. I just moved him over into that rack. With there being 17 of them, I'm going to go over them relatively quick, but just going to pull them out, let you see them. If you're not sure what some of those morphs are, don't worry. I did make you a cheat sheet. So basically, these are some of the ones that we're going to be seeing. So when I refer to Black Widow, Black Pewter, Super Firefly, Bumblebee, and Firefly, you are going to kind of know what they are, and we will go over those shortly. But I won't be pulling them out. We'll do an individual video on each one. So this is Arachnith Deficus, and his name came from the movie Megamind. Basically, he is an Orange Dream Mojave Black Widow, and that Black Widow is a pastel, black pastel, and a spider, and he is warm and happy. I'll put the uh, name tags back on some of these other ones later. So the next male is Mellow. This particular one is a low expression Orange Dream, and he is also 66% Het Pied. We're going to go ahead and throw him back in there. And you might notice some of the tubs have some writing as it pertains to green stuff on it. That's just my notes for if they ate or if they're in shed. But this white female here is Cloud, and she is a super fire. Basically, she's an almost all-white snake, except for just a few little yellow blotches on her. And again, we'll pull all these out eventually, and each one will get their own video kind of explaining what they are. The next one is my internet famous one, as I like to joke. But this is Peepers. Peepers is the no-eyed normal pied. And as you can see from some of the pictures that we've posted up in the past, she is growing, she is happy. And if it wants to focus, she is eyeless. Bye-bye, Peepers. All right, and to the left of Peepers, we have Enchi Lotta. 
and this is a Super Enchi Pastel. She is super yellow, super pretty, love the pattern, and she was purchased on a Black Friday sale from BHB Reptiles. If you're watching this, chances are you already know who they are, so I'm not going to waste your time with that. Next is Precious. She's a black pewter Enchi, and she is very pretty as well. Hi, little mama. Close you back up. Pull this one back over here, and that black pewter is a pastel, black pastel. Armalite is Super Butterfly, so she's happy. I've had her on a few different things before, and sorry for the shakiness of it all, just trying to keep the camera as still as possible. She is a Super Pastel Fire Butter. My little mama. Let me go ahead and get her put back in there. Next one is Diddles. I named her Diddles just because when I got her, she was like 65 grams. The person I got them from, I thought was going to say she was a little bit bigger than that, but she had a few meals in her, and she's ready to go. And if you remember the unboxing video, this is the female I was talking about that was going to go with Minion. So Minion was the male Super Pastel Pied. So putting those two together when they're big enough and healthy enough, will result in all of those babies being super pastel pied. Next one is a little boy, Camaro. He's a Bumblebee, 100% Het Clown. And I've tried putting him in a little bit bigger tub. He loves this tub. He had a cage before it, but he's just happy there with Bumblebee being pastel spider. The spider, you'll be able to see its influence on his back, almost that... Uh, webbing effect of his dark striping. Below him is another male and that's going to be Grove and he is a pastel cypress who has a little bit of stuck shed on him but he'll get cleaned. Um, not sure if the light's picking it up as well but he's super light yellow and white on the sides. That cypress kind of bringing in some of that patterning. He's a pretty boy. Next to him She's been on the internet before. This is Tummy. She's a Firefly Yellow Belly. And just like Grove and Camaro, super happy with the existing setup. She does look a little big to the tub, but she does not like going anywhere else currently. Gonna get a medium-sized rack with a little bit bigger tub, see if we can't coax her into something. But as you know, they like to be cryptic, they like to be happy, and I want the snakes happy. So with her, being a firefly yellow belly, firefly is a pastel fire. That's why you got a bunch of that yellow on her. Go ahead, close her back up. Next one is a little girl named Fanta. And she tends to be a little bit ornery. Wouldn't be surprised if she wants to strike the camera. But she is an orange dream, and she is a little bit more of a higher expression orange dream than Mellow, the male from earlier. You can see a lot more orange towards the base of her sides, and she is looking to strike, so we're just going to go ahead and put her back to bed. Next to her, we got Spot. Spot has been in a few of the videos, a lot of the shorts. Um, Spot is short for Spot Nose Black Pastel, and she is looking to strike. And I did spot clean all of them yesterday, and she felt like making another mess for me, so... I will have to clean that up a little bit later, but that black pastel is what kind of gives her some of that coloring there, and she's super friendly after she eats, but super food motivated. All right, these next two are named uh, Crumble Cookie. Crumble is a vanilla pastel fire cypress, and her sister Cookie is a vanilla or fire cypress. Hard to kind of see the difference between vanilla and fire just because of how those genes are but with them being siblings let's open them up at the same time see how they want to do oh, crumble is looking to strike so there's crumble saying hey what are you doing i was sleeping and here's her sister cookie so the biggest difference between the two of them is you'll see that crumble one is a little bit more ornery and making her water dish dirty. But she has a lot more yellow as opposed to Cookie 
who has a lot more white. So that vanilla fire is going to kind of bleed out some of the coloring and the pastel is going to bring some of that yellowing back and with her temperament being how it is we're just going to go ahead and shut that for a little bit. Normally when they are temperamental like that I don't like closing them because then it kind of rewards their behavior of being snappy and I don't want them to get used to doing that. So I'll have to pull her out and calm her down a little bit later. This is Coraline. She is in the other video that I posted up, vlog number three, one of the most meaningful snakes that I have. She is a spider, <coughs> excuse me, a spider, leopard, orange dream, lesser. And if you haven't seen that other video, you should. That was vlog number three, but basically this one's important to me because my wife picked this one out all by herself. It's a, the first four visual gene female that I have, and I got her. She was just about a size of, uh, just about the size of Diddles, 65 grams, really small, but slowly putting on weight. She's eating, she's happy, she's healthy. And the last one in this rack is named Bubbles. So Bubbles is my only double super gene. So he is a super pastel, super enchy champagne. <coughs> With a little bit of stuck shed, but you can see how his pattering is. Super happy. Super pretty. Powerhouse male. And that'll conclude this section of it. Eventually we'll do the next one next to it with the bigger tubs, the bigger snakes, and all of that. Thank you.